drawing cylinders in isometric, so if we go for our circle, and if we imagine that circle is in a square, we would see the circle touches the edge of the square in four places there. So first of all, to make our lives easier, we're going to draw that square in isometric. And if we were to carry that line over there, you'll see that these are 30 degrees. A nice easy way to remember that. You've got hands of a clock of 10 to 2. So now you've driven, uh, drawn that square, you want to find the center of the square. The easiest way to do that is draw a diagonal line from each corner. And you can extend those lines up and across. So now we've got the reference points, the same as we, over, uh, the same as we have over here. And then And you'll notice as well that that curve there is the same as this curve here and this gentler curve is the same as the one over here and you can see there are no sharp corners. Okay, now we want to make that ellipse more three-dimensional and we've already added in our isometric line at the back there so we can just extend it there and extend it there. You can cheat if you want and just try and copy that curve over there but if you don't want to cheat and you want to practice doing it the current well, the long winded way then just extend that crate that you created for the first ellipse okay notice that all these lines here are parallel all these lines are parallel I've got my square at the back it's not a perfect square but it doesn't really matter and the, the middle of that is there So then you can put that in there like that. And you can add that in there like that. This cylinder has been drawn going in that direction, but if I wanted to draw it in the opposite direction, it's the exact same principle. The main thing is just to set up your lines so that they are going back in isometric.